all right what's up boys welcome back from the video and in this video this is day two of the supercross countdown this is day two out of technically four since we're gonna do three days counting down and then the day of the race um and it that day of the race is gonna be on that track so if it releases the day before uh i'll do a video on it but i'll do the day of the race on that track um supercross countdown it's gonna be on all old tracks or some just random tracks that are that I found that I like on MX bike mods, but I don't think I'll do any pay word tracks and no motocross tracks in the Supercross countdown, obviously. But uh, we're gonna try to run some heaters and we're gonna talk about Supercross. Um, I was a little biased in the last video, uh, so I wanna go over, I wanna re talk about uh, Malcolm and uh, Hunter, uh, and then I wanna go over Moose Cam. Uh, those are the only three really I wanna talk about. Um, I wanna start with Malcolm because I was um, I was a little too quick to say that he's gonna win, you know, uh, a few races. I was watching some interviews and they had some good points of, he used to be really like hard when racing and now he's kind of mellowed out and just not racing as hard as, I don't know what the fuck is going on over here. Uh, he's mellowed out quite a bit and I, I kind of started to agree with it and um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he has what he used to have, and I don't think he's going to win a race. I think he's still podium, but, you know, he could always prove us wrong. Um, I, I mean, oh my god, I don't, I have no clue what is going on. I've been sliding around this track. I've, I've played, I've played probably like 15 laps of this track before I started, before I started recording. And it's just, it's been slidey and whatnot. I have the OEM tires, like, look at that. I don't know what it is. But I, um, back to Malcolm, uh, I, I really think that, uh, he has what it takes to win if he just pushes. I like to see what he did, you know, and, and I have won that, I mean, and, and I forget what it was, but it is, I think it was round eight. I think it was round eight when he had that really good push in Arlington, if I'm, if I remember correctly, um, even though he did get taken down, I, I mean, it was, I, I came back quite a few positions, so I mean, he, he has what it takes, it's just he has to push, and he doesn't like to push as much as he used to. Um, so, really, it's just up to him. Uh, the bike is very capable of winning, that's for sure, and we'll see that by Christian Craig. I think, I, I genuinely think he can win A1 if he just pushes um but again we're gonna have to just see how it plays out as uh, can i land that thank god oh damn okay anyway uh let's move on to uh the hunter lawrence how i said he doesn't deserve a factory ride i think he very much does deserve a factory ride I think he, I think he's very capable of it. I was, I was kind of biased. I, I, he is capable of factory ride, but what I was trying to say is I don't think he is like HRC level. I think he's more progressive, uh, progressive uh, Zuki type level. Um, you know, maybe pro circuit Kawasaki level. You know, up there, but like not, you know, always gonna win or not always expected to win a championship. Uh. And I think he just needs a couple more years because he, he's up there like he can win um, I think he I don't think he won a race last year, but he got a few podiums and like he's very capable of it, but We'll see this year if he's any better it could just be he could be you know maturing a lot slower than jet did but uh, we'll See about that as come on. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one clean lap on this video I just know I'm going to um as yep yep god I, I cannot wait for the new oem bikes and tires i'm so tired of this it's just it's it's non-stop sliding non-stop sliding um but yeah i think he's just very capable of a factory ride just not hrc level especially on the 250 level uh hrc is not 100 percent yet on the 450 level uh, like they were, like a few years ago. 
uh, th that right now belongs to Kaui and Yamaha. Uh, and, I mean, I would even say Husqvarna. I think they're very good right now. Uh, but that's, that's all I really have to say about um, Hunter. I, I was a little biased, and I do apologize for that. But let's move on to Muscan for the final topic of the video. Yeah, um, he's... Uh, he's good like he's uh, i'm sure what i'm trying to say is he's done good in his career but he's just known for his his high ego and just racing a little dirty uh that tomac incident 2018 foxborough you know uh handlebar um and a few more and i want i think it was 2017 2019 I think there was one in 21, and then, uh, I don't know about motocross, I don't know if he's dirty in motocross, but, um, I, like, and then, uh, the 2022 season, um, with Malcolm in A1, I think it was A1, like, he's just, he, he's known for racing dirty and just not taking the blame, and it's kind of just, I, I, I'm not a big fan of Moosekin at all, um, but I do think it's his last season. I think he is going to be done racing after this motocross season or even this the supercross season. He is full. He's been racing for, I think, longer than Tomac has. Uh, and, I mean, Tomac's young. He's not even 30 yet. But uh, you get you get my point. Um, I just I think it's his last season. He is older. He's not racing to what he was before. And I... I think I think his career is over with. I think he has done enough um, good to battle with the bad that he's done, and I, I, I think he's I think it's time to retire. Plus, just get more people on KTM. You know, we we need we need a new KTM squad. It's been it's been a little bit since we've gotten a new KTM squad. We've gotten some in the 250s, but it's been the same for the 450s. I mean, Plessinger, yeah, but mm, he didn't do anything, so it was still just. Cooper and Moosecan like it's been since 2019. But that, you know, sometimes a third rider, but mm, we need someone new. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I, I want to talk about Cooper. I didn't, I haven't thought about Cooper at all. Um, I, I think he could be, I, I think he's done on ktm i think he this is this is last season on contract i think he's going somewhere else i think he's coming back to yamaha um i don't know if he's like committed anywhere i heard something about him committing somewhere but i don't know who um but it's last season so please come back to yamaha <laughs> i would love to see him on a yamaha again um but yeah that's really all i have to talk about uh this track i've failed to run a good lap on so let's try this one more time you know uh can i hit this triple i can but i'm gonna have to double and then single out if i can hit this that'd be nice there we go there we go okay come on the whoop section in this is easy but the section after it is what i'm worried about right here Can I triple triple is what I want to know. I can. Can I get through the sand section? I can. I can. Now, this is what I'm really worried about. Can I cleanly hit this? Yep, 48. Perfect. I got a 48. That's exactly what I've been trying to get the whole time. Alright, I'm happy with that. Um. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys did enjoy this, enjoy this, make sure to leave a big fat like subscribe. But for now, peace. Out.